Hi, it's John Lane with Castle Rock Sprinkler Service, where we are all about beautiful lawns, efficient sprinkler systems, and festive holiday lights. Today, we're going to talk and show you the process of a restoring a lawn. The back story here is I was over visiting with this homeowner, and in passing, he said, hey, I'm going to tear out all my lawn and start over, which to me says he's going to tear the sod out, and then he's going to put new sod in, and hope for the best. And I said, hey, that's an expensive process. There's an easier way and a more efficient way to do it. And I explained it to him. And so you're going to see that process today because he agreed to go forward with it. So the first thing we had to do is we had to kill the grass that was here. And the reason for that is there were different kinds of grasses and weeds that some of which you could not selectively spray out. And so we just wanted to start with a blank canvas. So we applied some material that just killed what was there, but it didn't stop new grass from being able to be germinated. So that's what we did. We had to wait a few days for that to all take place. And then we had to move into taking and addressing the problems with the sprinkler system. So in Colorado, the number one thing before you can ever have a beautiful lawn is you have to have an efficient sprinkler system. It has to be right. When the water is right, then magic can happen on your lawn. And so what we're trying to achieve here is to try to get a uniform distribution of water across the entire surface. And if you don't get it, you get what we found here. You have irregular growth patterns. Some areas are very vibrant. Other areas are brown. You get uneven color. And so it just doesn't work. And so that's the first thing is we had to get that sprinkler system in order. So we did some changing. We added some heads. We took some away. We repositioned some. My crew did a great job here, and we also changed out the nozzle style from a typical rotor to an MP rotator, which I think is the best sprinkler head on the market. So the next step was to bring in four cubic yards of topsoil, and the homeowner helped us here, and he spread it across his lawn. About a half an inch thick is what it ended up being. And then with that in place, we came in, we spread seed, and after the seed was down at the rate that I like, my crew went ahead and aerated the lawn. And that's critical. And it's a great step because it pushes these seeds down into the holes. And you'll actually, when it starts coming up, you'll actually, it looks like a row crop of corns coming up out of the ground. And then after that application of seed, we put one more after the aeration. And that's my secret there. I can't tell you what I use there and then we raked it all over to make it nice and smooth. So that's the process to restore lawn, and you're going to love the final results. And the benefit of this is when you have to tear out sod and replace sod on a lawn this size, you're probably talking six or $7,000, whereas the process that we went through as far as the seeding and so on, it was just a fraction of that, not even a thousand. Obviously, there's some cost in restoring the sprinkler system and getting it correct. But the final result speaks for itself. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Until next time, I'm John Lane. Thanks for watching.